guys, it's Danny. I have a bit of time this afternoon before I have to go pick my kids up from school, so I thought I would do a quick craft room tour. I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but my room has never been where I wanted it to be. And to be honest, it still isn't, and I don't think it ever will be. So I am going to just show you what it's like now, and if it changes in the future, I'll do an update. So I really wanted to use a tripod for this. Um, unfortunately, ironically, I can't find the adapter for my camera. It's in here somewhere. We might find it as we go along. So yeah, if I'm a bit shaky, I do apologize, but I'm going to do my best. So this is my craft room. It is combined with my study. I share this room with my husband. So it is on the smaller side in terms of storage. Uh, I definitely have a smaller collection compared to some people, but I am just going to show you how I organize everything. So this is the door as you walk in. It's quite a small room anyway. Um, we do have a built-in wardrobe here with some sliding doors. So I'll come to that in a minute. Um, I have a piano bench in here at the moment because my daughter keeps using it to climb up and touch my television. So that is not normally there, but um, yeah, it's there for now. Okay, so as you walk into the room, my side is all along this wall. Then we have these IKEA drawers below the window and some things on top of the window. And then this is my husband's side of the room. It is pretty messy. <laughs> he is just finishing up his honors thesis. So he is, yeah, he's super busy. Um, I think it's pretty neat considering <laughs> what he's doing at the moment. And then right beside the door, we have this tall Alex unit from Ikea. So um, it's just got a couple of decorative bits on the top. This is pretty much all um, household stuff. So stationery and uh, paperwork and bits and pieces like that, printer paper, all that kind of thing. Then this set of drawers is two thirds of mine. So the one on the left is my husband's, it's full of his um, stuff. And then these two are mine. I've got the printer on the top, some tissues, and then um, some more of my stuff. So we'll just start at the top here. This is my December daily <laughs> caddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm still working on it. Um, I'm actually still working on not last year's the year before so <laughs> yeah um that's there <laughs> so this is one of the ikea uh boxes i really like it um it'd be good if i could finish this and actually use it for something else but there you go behind that is my sewing machine this is my workhorse that i've had for at least 10 years my lovely janome um, it was quite expensive to buy but it was worth every penny it has lasted me so long it has sewn through everything i put through it and it has never broken once it is amazing then i have my little trash can beside here so this is just my little lots of style desktop trash can i just really like how it fits in this little space nicely and i can reach it from my chair just tuck little things in there all right let's have a quick look in these drawers so this top drawer is pretty much all adhesive. So I have um, adhesive tape and foam tape. There's some single sheets of foam. And then this is still, again, just full of tape adhesives. And that's just um, one of those plastic tubs that goes all the way to the back. These drawers don't pull out all the way, which is a little bit annoying. And they do, you can see this has got marked up quite a bit. This drawer is my husband's um, album. So this, this was his baby album that I am currently working on. I've got to make sure because some of his um, photos, he's naked. <laughs> but yeah, so that's his baby album that I'm working on. It's just in uh, jump rings at the moment. It will eventually go in this album, um, but I need some post extenders. It's one of those post bound albums, a bit annoying. And then everything else in this drawer, I think is just his um, like old, those like, peel and stick um, pocket albums um, that I'm transferring his photos out of. And then right in the back there are some adult coloring books, which I don't use all that often, but they're fun to use when I do use them. Next drawer is just techie stuff. So headphones, um, charger cords, adapter cables, a little mini ring light. I've got a microphone in here. This is my um, underwater camera, calculator, yeah, charges, all that kind of thing. And then uh, I think I've got an external hard drive right at the back as well. There you go. Never wants to close that drawer. This is photos. So these are all my like um, photography packets. So school photos and Christmas photos and things like that. Then this box is all washy, I think, under here. Pretty sure. I have some um, resealable 
paper bags here for ephemera and things like that. And, oh, that's me with my little putty tart when I was like 13 or 14, so young. And then, yeah, like some, some discs and things. And then this is all just a box of photos. Lots of photos. I don't tend to use this that much anymore because I print most of my photos as I need them, but um, these are a lot of ones that I've had back printed and that I will be scrapping. So I keep them. They're like kind of older photos, so sort of my lower priority. And then right in the back there is just like old video games and discs and things that I don't want to get out, um, get rid of, but I don't use them really. So they're tucked in the back of the drawer. I don't need to access them. All right, then over this side is, at the top, just tools and things like that. Mostly pretty regularly reachable stuff, so paper piercing, um, tools on the top there. My circle punch, some stitching bits and pieces, my roller stamp, spatula, some replacement cutting blades, piercing tools, um, little blendy tool thing, stuff like that. And then paintbrushes and rollers and things like that. In the back I have my heat tool and my hot glue gun so and then my hammer is for um eyelet setting in case you're wondering seems pretty odd okay next drawer is just kind of um, miscellaneous mixed media so i have my watercolor sets the lid is broken on that one so my watercolor sets i have a bunch of plastic containers and things um that i meant to use for mixed media but i just I don't think I've ever actually touched these, so I might actually go through and throw those out. I hate throwing out plastic though. Then over here at the bottom I have some uh, pencil tins, so coloured pencils and watercolour pencils, and some more watercolour pencils there. And then this is all my brush pens. So I have my Faber-Castell pits, my Tombos, uh, this is just random, like Nuvo and this Daiso one, and then uh, Pentel Touch. And then my mild liners, brush pens, um, sorted by like a color collection. Then this is my proper mixed media drawer, I suppose. Um, so I have some just cups to use for water. I have some gelatos, some glitter gels, some Yupo um, alcohol ink paper, water spray bottle. This is like, yeah, um, color blast paste and big container of glitter. <laughs> a palette, baby wipes, of course, and then this is all uh, embossing powders. So they're kind of just kind of messy, but not too bad. I've got this little box in here so it keeps them corralled, and that is a adhesive, spray adhesive. Some more um, glue sticks, my hot glue gun, and then my medium. So I have some clear gesso, some texture gel, or yeah, that's my rough texture gel, my iridescent medium. Some of these, does anyone remember these? The um, Martha Stewart micro beads, these little glass micro beads. They're so pretty. I don't think I've ever used them. It's completely full, this jar. I mean, they don't go bad, so, you know, it's fine. But yeah, I should try and use them. They're really pretty. I just, I never remember that I have them. So I've had these for so long, oh my gosh. And then in the back there I have my modeling paste and then I have another big big thing of gesso and I think that's my glass bead gel. So all my mediums, these drawers, they're supposed to come out further but they kind of stick on a lot of the drawers so that's a little bit annoying. Uh, so in here are all my stamps and dies. So some of my woodblock mounted stamps, um, smaller, Acrylic stamps, so these are all just acrylic stamps. I'm not going to show you all of them, obviously. My one lone embossing folder that I own and I've never used. And these are all my kind of bigger dies, so they just don't fit really in these containers. And like my die stamp combination sets. So I have to kind of angle them like that so they'll fit. And then in the back here are my dies. So these are just my loose ones, kind of the, the cheap ones I bought off... Um, eBay or whatever and then these are my bigger ones so I do like to keep them in their original packaging with the magnets if I can I don't have a lot obviously um, if I had more it would be uh, not a feasible storage option but I like this for the moment and that's just my um, stamp cleaner okay and then in the bottom is just paperwork and um, whatnot so 
yeah, um, not, nothing to do with scrapping, just paperworky stuff, very boring. All right, so now we come over to my desktop. It was on sale, I believe, which is why I bought it. Um, they're pretty expensive, <laughs> full price, but it was really reasonably reduced, I think. They were going out of... Um, I think they're being discontinued, so, uh, but that's really nice to have. Of course, this is my workspace as well. It's not just a craft space, so I have my computer here and um, my computer screen there. My computer screen is also on an adjustable arm, so I can move it up and I can swing it like out of the way, which is really handy. So we will start from the top here, I suppose. So this is my little golden it's not a pegboard what would you call it like a memo board and I just have one of my layouts hanging up here that I will never be able to get a photo on because it's too pretty um, but uh, there are other hooks to hang other things up I just have never gotten around to it and then I have these two little baskets these are just peg baskets from um, Woolworths a grocery store which I just really like they fit on there perfectly and they keep things out of reach of little hands which is ideal so I have some photos in here that I want to scrap and then this is all my enamel dots and um yeah like my shapes wrinkles and things like that let's just move this screen out of the way all right so right in the very back corner here is my uh vinyl bucket so you can't really tell because of these in the way but that is all my rolled up vinyl and transfer paper and whatnot there is a plastic bucket that they're sitting in <laughs> it's hard to see but that's there and then i just chucked my paper towel on top and my ink blender refills because I don't have anywhere else to put them at the moment and I don't use that vinyl bucket regularly at all. Then over here we have paints. Um, so I have two of these little tiered uh, holders from Kmart. These are really good for paints and things like that. So I have all my acrylic paints, a little blender sponge there. Uh, then all my mists and sprays and some water. Then in the front one again more mists and then these are all my acrylic inks and then all my Nuvo drops. So that is, they're pretty full. <laughs> um, I don't know, yeah, um, that's gonna expand and I really don't know where I'm gonna put everything, but yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Underneath that, I'm gonna have to move this out of the way. Underneath that is an acrylic A4 drawer set. And this is all my scrap paper. This is just from Officeworks. It holds all my scraps. So uh, the top is neutrals and a plain piece of paper, apparently. Then warm colors, cool colors, rainbow and uh, cardstock just plain cardstock and plain paper then right in front of that I have all my stickers so that's just photo paper it's living in there at the moment and then all stickers so um, a bunch of these little sticker books happy planner sticker book uh, list of stuff to do apparently and then yeah like all my um, puffies and all my regular stickers and planner stickers just a bunch of random sticker things one sticker book it shouldn't really be there but it is um, and then at the back I have my larger sheets so some of those larger sheets lots of cocoa vanilla some of these Kaiser craft sheets that were 12 by 12 but I've cut them up so they fit in here yeah some more and then right at the back we have my chipboard so these are my 6 by 12 chipboard sheets I don't have a lot of those and then right in the back I just have a piece of plain chipboard just to keep everything from falling over too badly I'm like curling up inside the box this little top is from Ikea as well if you have any questions about where my storage is from I'll try to remember and then I just have my um, my sewing machine foot pedal there all right down here I just have a bunch of little containers and bowls and things to just hold random things that's my uh, SD card adapter and then some sticky tape then I have like lip balm and um, memory cards and things and some die cut hearts and stars and then these containers are just kind of my little catch all so this is a bunch of um, spare die cuts and then this is a few things I still have to fussy cut and then an empty one so these are from Ikea as well, or the, as well. <laughs> they're really handy back here I have some acrylic drawers these are from Daiso they're amazing I love them uh, on top I have some distress inks that I just don't have space for in these drawers um, and I don't tend to use distress inks very often so those are in there my tape lighter of course it's there so my daughter can't get it she likes to chew it and then I have a box full of wood veneer just on top there 
Then down here, this is full of die cuts, which I actually want to switch these out to my other storage eventually, but I just haven't got around to it. So those are there. Then on this side, I have my, the rest of my inks. So all my Distress Oxides with their matching little uh, blendy tool, Distress Oxide, so that's all those. And I think I have my stays on, yeah, and my like black and white inks, some ink pens, and then some more Distress inks. So eventually these ones up here will go into these drawers once I move the die cuts. I did used to like this for die cuts, but I'm just not using it that much anymore. My style of scrapbooking has changed. Okay, and then right next to those little drawers, I have my little caddy. This was from Kmart. It's pretty cute. It's like little um, metal buckets, but they're all kind of welded together in one little caddy. It's really cool. And I just have my most used tools in here. So my most used art pens, uh, my most used paintbrushes and spatulas and things like that, mixed media stuff. My All my scissors, um, my big scissors are missing at the moment. Uh, my little cutting tools, and then I hang my tweezers on the edge there so I can grab them easily and then back here I have a whole punch of my tiny attacher and I think yeah my little my little circle punch I use this to make hole reinforcers with so there's my camera charger I just had to plug my battery in this is my tripod it's off Amazon um, monopod is more accurate um, but it's on a um, extendable arm which is really nice I can move it out of the way then this is where my phone lives when I am listening to podcasts and things. So I've just got a little rose gold phone stand, which is really cute. Okay, and this is where my um, non-collection die cuts go, I suppose. So once I've got only a few things left from a collection, I will pop my die cuts into here. Otherwise, my die cuts live with their kit or their collection or they go... I'll explain later where my other die cuts are. I'll show you where they are. But um, I just have this sorted in... Um, basic categories which I have only recently done I really like it these are just printable labels and then I just stuck um, a printed tag on there but yeah I, I think these are cute I really like them. then I have my little oh I don't even know what to call this my little shelf of pretty things so most of this is pretty non-functional but I really like having this on my desk because it looks pretty and it makes me happy <laughs> so I have a bunch of stuff on top um, some medication apparently there some little die cuts. This is all those printable labels that I cut out. I love those. Blending tools, a room spray, just some random tags and things. A Freddo, because you have to have a Freddo. My pretty pens. I don't use these. They just look nice. And uh, a bunch of my sequins. Not all of my sequins. I'll show you the rest very shortly. And down here we have a bunch of things that I just really don't use very much. My, my little sticker albums. That's my little Christmas traveler's notebook. It's so cute. It's teeny tiny. It's a micro size. Adorable. And then back there is some dimensional embellishments, paper flowers and things like that. Another traveler's notebook that I love but don't really use. Um, some notebooks that I, this one will be an altered book project and this one I do actually use to um, plan out projects and things like that. This is a little canister from Kmart. I got it because it reminded me of the Coco Vanilla Studio Daydream collection. I just, yeah, I couldn't resist. And then in there is... Um, some more dimensional embellishments, so some paper butterflies and some felties and things. Then some more uh, pocket size notebooks. Um, I have these in here because they fit perfectly. So these are Mumsy and Bub and this is one I made myself. Some Nuvo sequins confetti in this dish here. My little Sensi Unicorn, I love her, she's so cute and she smells delicious. And my Christina Ray mug that my kids got me for Mother's Day one year and there are just some little um, little note cards in there for when I have happy mails and things like that and then down here I have my mug of Pepsi <laughs> and I have some dishes just of kind of random embellishments so um, things that I'm currently working on so those are for some soaps I'm working on some washi tape and stuff that I was using and some wood veneer and stuff I think this is all mostly for my December daily so it's just kind of being used on and off so I just keep it there and then this is some notes and yeah just some dies I want to use so I pull them out because I have some ideas and I don't want to forget them which I will if I can't see them then I have usually over here I have a kit or two that I'm currently using so this is the Chamel Never Grow Up collection kit that I put together recently yeah you would have seen the video for that go up on my channel so I am trying to make myself actually get through this and use it so if I have it in my eye line I will use it so it's there I've got a new stencil um, that I want to try and use so again 
keeping it out where I can see it, and same with these little stamps. This is my actually used pens, so some highlighters and uh, pencils and pens and whatnot. This is a travel mug that I'm pretty sure I lost the lid for, but I love the mug, so I'm keeping it. And this helps keep all this from falling down onto my desk because it is quite heavy. It's ceramic and full of pens. My planner, which is always out. I always make sure to use it. Um, that's my uni stuff. That is what I'm working on at the moment. Lots of fun. And my lab notebook. So I'm just going to flip those over because I don't want to share too much of my personal information. But um, this is for my um, research project that I'm working on. So I just want to briefly talk about my um, artwork. It's really hard to get it where the light isn't shining off the glass too much but um, I love these. I found these at a Christmas market by a local artist. Super talented. I love uh, birds. I especially love my um, country's native birds and these are beautiful examples of those. Some of my favorites. Um, so I just thought these were gorgeous. I couldn't resist them. So they are in a kind of triptych up on my wall there and they make me happy every time I walk in here. All right, looking down, I just want to show you quickly underneath my desk because I do have some things stored under there, of course. So, excuse the, the gloom and doom, but this container is all my other die cuts. So I will pull it out. It's under there because I use it as a footstool. Um, that sounds really weird, but everything's really well packaged in there and I just kind of rest my feet on this. I don't put any weight on it and I mean, it's, it's fine, uh, but I definitely need a footstool um, for my, my terrible back. So the top is a little bit dusty. But I'm okay with that. And then in here, I just have all my die cuts. So these are all my Rosie Studio collections that I have in Ziploc bags with the um, collection name written on them. So these are all for opened die cuts that I don't have in with a collection or in with a kit. So these are just in here. So if I want, um, I'll turn this around. If I want a batch of die cuts for a kit, I can just go, oh, that's nice. I'll pull that out and chuck it in a kit. So it just makes homemade kit making easier. Um, and then these are just unopened packs. So that's some Cartabella and some Doodlebug. I don't have a lot of unopened packs of die cuts apart from the Rosie Studio ones um, because mostly I buy whole collections. And then this is my kit collection storage. Most of it. I do have some others in um, the Calyx unit off to the side here, but this is most of my kits. So I got these little crates from Big W a while ago. I ordered them online, which is why I got some dinged up ones. Um, but I, yeah, I'll, I'll probably repaint them at some point, but I may not. Who knows? So let's just drag these out a little bit. So this side is themed kits, so things that um, aren't based on a collection. So uh, an autumn one, uh, summertime one, Christmas, nautical, love and romance. Uh, what's this one? Spring. Uh, this one is a hip kit club one. So again, I think it was just kind of spring themed. Um, beach, tropical, baby. So yeah, you get the picture. <laughs> and then this one is collection based so that's um pink paisley again and again pebbles the avenue crepe paper magical forest um emerson lane rosie studio one canoe two so you get the picture again simple stories so all my collection based kits or just whole collections yeah so that is the majority of those as you can see those crates fit these pretty much perfectly um, I did have these in the bottom of my Calyx unit, but it was annoying me that I had to pull the whole thing out to be able to pull out a kit uh, because the fronts are obviously enclosed. So I just push them under here. All right, then we move over to this side of the room. So I have this little uh, cart from Ikea. It's another Alex unit, but it's one of the wider ones and it's on casters. So it lives right in front of my Calyx unit. Um, as you can see, I can't actually get to a lot of the stuff behind there right now but I can just roll this out of the way and if I have a need for even more space I can raise up my desk a little higher and slide this underneath so I don't have it slid under there all the way because it's a little wide it does get in the way if I am using my desk um, but if I need more space in here for whatever reason that's always an option so that's really handy. At the moment, of course, I have a work in progress on the top, as you can see. So when that isn't on there, there is quite a bit of extra workspace that I quite often kind of spread over to. 
have my lovely cameo sitting on top there. The cords are just kind of bundled up there. Um, and you can see that one goes around underneath. So all I need to do is roll this, roll this cart over that way a little more and I can plug my cameo into my computer and yeah, cut things, which is awesome because I use it a lot. All right, top drawer. So this is all page protectors and yeah, so 12 by 12 plastic bags and things like that. So pretty much all my page protectors and then I have my A5 and my A4 page protectors. This drawer is all going to be my A3 board, so my large white and black cardstock packs there. My cutting mats, so those are my self-healing cutting mats and my cameo mats. We're also going to have my stencils, so these are all my like 12 by 12 stencils. And I do have a bunch of scraps in here um, from old cameo cuts. But yeah, so those are my big stencils on the bottom there, and then my larger, oh, my smaller ones. Kind of tricky to do with only one hand. So these are my medium sized stencils, and then my teeny tiny stencils. This drawer is basically just new stuff that I really want to create with. So this is a bunch of stuff that was sent to me by Rosie Studio. I have two full collections from them, so I really want to just keep these kind of on their own. They came with albums, so they're not going to fit in a kit, obviously. Um, yeah, that's a drawer full right there. So that is that. This is just kind of random ephemera and embellishments, so lots of lots of random stuff. And I just have it all in these little baskets to keep it kind of separated. So just some paper clips, pom-poms, some shaker cards, and then I think rhinestones underneath just more random ephemera bits and pieces some wood veneer oh oh i forgot i had these oh, i need to bring these out for my school kit i need to put those in there <laughs> there you go look at that isn't this fun <laughs> um yeah more like sticky notes and little shaker embellishments vinyls random stuff doilies uh mini album rings some confetti glitter this is just kind of mixed alphas that I've die cut. Um, some more stickers, another little container with paper clips and things like that, and then tags and labels and whatnot. I think that's it. Yep. This is my twine drawer, which is actually surprisingly organized uh, again i have baskets in all these drawers to help kind of keep things contained but all my twines my ribbons uh, trim i don't have a whole lot of ribbons so that does help but everything's pretty well organized and then in between i have smaller baskets within baskets so that helps keep things contained more twine and then these are my punches so i don't have a lot of punches i have my circle punch my smaller circle punch that I use a lot and those up on my desk and in my top drawer and then these are my other punches so I love this one my corner punch and my notebook punch again love that one too so I do use all the punches I have which is nice uh, this is planner stuff that I am probably never going to use so this I actually think I will include in a giveaway at some point it's a traveler's notebook um, I'm just not going to use it I have so many already and then this is a, a 2021 planner no a 2020 planner <laughs> that I never used. I never even took off the packaging. Look at that. How bad is that? Never used it. In my defense, 2020, right? Um, this is some planner stuff, actually. Uh, I know what that is exactly, but I can't actually get it out. I don't have the time for decorating planners like I used to. And then this is felties. Again, um, I used to sell these in my Etsy shop. Probably never going to actually do anything with these, but I don't want to toss them. They're beautiful. And then the bottom drawer is all my December daily stuff so yeah um stuff that i'm currently working on and then stuff put aside for next year as well so a bunch of this is for next year and again i just have this is just a puzzle box so stuff like that this makes really good um, organizing containers so i have that in there to keep that contained this is my current december daily that i'm working on it's already enormous i don't know how i'm going to i don't know how i'm going to fit any more in there it's so fat but anyway, that's a work in progress. So, okay, so I've just rolled that out of the way so we can move on to the Calyx unit um, stacked on top of a Calyx unit. So there's a lot going on here. I'll do my best to show you everything. Um, 
I think I will start from the top down because that makes the most sense. I have to really stretch for this, but at the top there is just decorative stuff. So on the right hand side, I do have a um, embroidery hoop thing that I made. And then there is a card up there that I made for Coco Vanilla Studio that I, yeah, can't get rid of. It's super pretty. Um, they're mainly up there because I have nowhere else to put them. Um, across the top here, this top row is all my planners and travels notebooks that, you know, aren't on my actual desk. So they're kind of pushed towards the back, but you can still see them. So there's some of them there. Then I have this little rack that has mini albums. So this is my New England mini album. And then there's a baby one that my Nana bought me. And that's just a plastic crystal. <laughs> wine glass that I got on a retreat and I've just got an nail polish in there for no particular reason. Then coming across here we have more planners and traveler's notebooks and a photo um, that uh, my friends gave me for my birthday I think and they put this vinyl on there saying best friends. So love those girls. And this is one I just bought recently on clearance um, to make a mini album or a traveler's travel journal out of. And then there's more um, <laughs> planners and traveler's notebooks. So these ones are mostly my Foxy Fix ones. So they're all leather and um, personalized, most of them. I love these. Um, I just, I don't have uh, much time for pretty planning anymore and I'm always worried they're gonna get damaged. So I just keep them on my shelf now. And I actually have, uh, I have a box back there. I'm not sure what's in there. I think there might be another planner or two in those boxes back there. <laughs> Um, which wouldn't surprise me at all, honestly. All right, coming down here on the side, I have a bunch of my Scentsy Melts just stacked up like that. I'm not a rep or anything. So yeah, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just like them. Um, an empty jar, my little trolley, Mara's Gold trolley with a bunch of my Simply Gilded washies. So my washi samples and some of the rolls. And it's a Foxy Fix box. It's got planner stuff in it, um, dashboards and whatnot that I don't want to get rid of. This is my box of swap stuff. Um, so stuff I've either gotten in swaps or that I have put away to um, put into swaps. So yeah, it's kind of just a random assortment of stuff. And I have a little photo frame my daughter gave me for Mother's Day. Daycare gave it to me. And this mug my friend got me. Coming across, I have a photo of my darling girl. Um, this other frame is for my bigger boy. I'm just waiting on his school photos. So he has not been forgotten. Just move those out of the way. This is planner stuff. So this is all my sticker kits, my non-kit stickers, so my loose sheets, and they're all divided into categories. My little sticker albums and my sticker books. I do still use these, just not as much as I used to. Then over here, over here we have another trolley. This is my two-tier one, and this has uh, mostly Mumsy and Bob washing in it, I'm pretty sure. At the back there is some sequin stacks. Um, right at the very back here I have a decorative tin that has my big bottle of tacky glue and then I have my memory decks. My blush memory decks, beautiful thing. I only have a few cards on it because most of the cards that I've made, those ones, are for swaps. So I'll be putting them in the post for some friends. And just some random stuff that my daughter likes to chew so it's up on the top so she can't get them. Lego tires, my wooden block stamps and my uh, wireless earphones, which is great. <laughs> then around the side here, if I can stretch, I have my little washi house. So this is mostly my Simply Gilded washi. I love this thing. So cute. All right, I had to take a short break to go pick the kids up from school. Time got away from me, but I'm pretty sure we were up to this shelf. So we'll start over here. I do have a violet in here with me now. So if you hear banging and crashing, that is why. <laughs> so I have my Scentsy Warmer here that I use semi-regularly when I remember. This is the box that my Christina Ray mug came in. It's really pretty, so I keep it there. Um, back there, I have another one of those tiered stands from Kmart. And that just holds a few journals. So that's my recipe journal. That's a felt bound book. And this is a holographic traveler's notebook, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I am planning on doing some kind of album in, but I haven't decided which yet. This is an empty December daily album that I have um, lined up for a project, <laughs> have had lined up for a few years that I still haven't completed, but I'm going to, I will get there. 
Um, back there is another December Daily album that is complete. Traveler's Notebook. This is an album that... You're so noisy. I... <laughs> it's an old holiday uh, A4 album that I'm kind of halfway through doing slash redoing. And then this is just a bowl of planner clips and charms that are really pretty that I don't use but I don't want to throw away. So they're, they're just there, pretty. Next cube is just kind of random stuff. This is my honeymoon album that I'm working on. It just fits in there. So that's why it's there. Uh, on top of this container I have my paper trimmer and my guillotine. They're up high so my daughter can't reach them because again she likes to play with them. Oh I forgot about this punch. So this is another punch I have. My Memoridex punch. I use that quite a bit so I just have it on top of here. And then this is a... Let's see if I can pull it out one handed. That is just a pouch. It's a waterproof pouch so that I take my planner out sometimes if I'm going to take my planner places. Um, and I don't have my laptop bag, which is also waterproof. I will pack it in this instead. So that's just there for easy access. This container is it's from Ikea. It's a really good container, actually. Um, it's got this hole in so you can pull it in and out. Um, you're not going to be able to see inside, but this is just, just kind of random bits and pieces. I have some A4 scrapbooking supplies in here. I have some off-the-page projects in here, and I have some stuff for next year's December Daily, or this year's December Daily, rather. So that is just kind of all packed in there. Um, I'd rather not pull it out because <laughs> it's it's hard to do this one-handed. It's just kind of random, random stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere else. And I know what's in there, so that's okay. Uh, this is just kind of random um, embellishments, older kind of embellishments. Like you can see some eyelets there, and I think some brads, yeah, some little brads. So um, 3D kind of hard embellishments that I don't really use anymore, but some of them are cute and some of them are kind of themed, so I don't want to throw them away. And this is all sequins, so that is just a big tub full of sequins. Um, it's actually from my old job. They were throwing them away. I didn't steal it, but they gave them away. So it's like a divided container. And then I have these little um, pop top containers with each different color. So there's a ton of sequins in that. That goes all the way to the back of the cube. This shelf is, again, a bit of a kind of hod hodgepodge. So up here are layouts I'm either currently working on like that one on the bottom or ones that I use some kind of mixed media and it needs to dry or ones I haven't taken photos of yet <laughs> so completed projects but I need to take photos for Instagram or YouTube or whatever so that's what that shelf is so these are just the glass shelves that you can get from Ikea that go in the Calyx units I love these I've got quite a few as you'll see then below that I kind of have this tub is full of my COVID album that I started and I think I'm going to abandon because I didn't enjoy the project. I started it. I, I keep going to throw it out and then looking at the layouts and going, oh, they're pretty cute. Maybe I'll keep them. So I'm just honestly just leaving that there. Um, I need the space for other things, but I just can't bring myself to do anything with it at the moment. So I'm just leaving it there. <laughs> um, this is actually these uh, Project Life sleeves. So um, I am going to keep this once it's empty of the Project Life pockets because I love the box but at the moment it is just holding sleeves. But I like that it is the perfect size and shape to sit on top of this basket uh, because this basket doesn't have a lid this gives me an extra shelf. So because I don't use these pocket pages all that often I do use them but I don't pull this out very often. So on top of that I have a stack of papers that are new papers so a piece of chipboard and then a bunch of papers about half an inch worth of papers these are all new so they're either ones i was gifted by a friend or ones i got on clearance and i don't want to put them away in my paper storage yet because they're pretty new i want to try and get them in kits um, but i am not up to making the kits yet so these are just my newer papers i know they're there i have a better idea of what's in here than all the stuff in my paper storage and um, I can quickly build a kit. So this is where I go to first for papers when I am making a kit. And then on top of that, I have, um, well, this was full of fussy cutting, now it's not. <laughs> um, I was expecting that to be full of fussy cutting. Um, usually this is where all my in progress fussy cutting goes. And this is actually um, my son's Samsung tab box. So again, I repurpose all this packaging wherever I can because these little boxes come really in handy. And then I have, again, this is some more fussy cutting. So this is a 6x8 paper pad I got for free with an order from scrapbook.com, I believe. Um, it's P13, so it's a lot of fussy cutting. So I have a little tray on top with, yeah, so a couple of trays. Lots of fussy cutting. 
So I like to nest my fussy cutting because obviously I have things that I'm in the middle of cutting out and then finish things. So this is the lid off actually that green container because those stickers obviously stick out the top. I can't put the lid on, but I can use the lid as a tray and it's a nice shallow tray. It works really well. And this is the lid of a Ferrero Rocher chocolate box. So again, repurposing containers. <laughs> so that lives there. I know they're there, easy to get and pretty much out of reach. Directly below that, um, some more containers. So this is all my six by six paper pads. No, it isn't, it's my journal cards. <laughs> So I just need to find a place to put my lids now. So all my journal cards, all the ones that aren't in kits, mm. divided into collection. And for these, I just have a bit of packaging. So most of these are reject shops. So I just have the bit of packaging that they came with. Mm -hmm. And I have that cut down to fit inside the container. And they're just divided up like that. And then in the back is just random ones. And I like this because I can just pull this whole container out and take it over to my desk and flick through. And then behind that is my 6x6 paper pads. So they are, I'd like them to be stood up, but then they don't, um, they don't fit in there properly. So I have them laid down so again I can stack some things on top, but they should really be stood up so I can flick through them. But anyway, that's those. Um, that is all the ones that aren't part of a, again, a kit or a collection. So quite a bit in there. I don't know where the lid for that one has gone. And then this big box here is all my um, textury stuff. So all my tissue paper and doilies and there's some vellum and some acetate and like, what is this? A tool, uh, some crepe streamer. Yeah, some more tools. So all that kind of like textural stuff. And then down the side here is my newest collections and collection kits. So I just don't want these to get lost. I want to be able to grab them quickly and easily and remember where they are. So this is just where they go. There's just a gap down the side of these boxes. So I try to utilize all the gaps because I don't have a lot of space. <laughs> so it would look a lot nicer if everything wasn't so crushed in together, but then I wouldn't have space for everything. So that's just life. So this is Maggie Holmes garden party. Then we have my Camp Happy Bear uh, based kit um, by Photoplay. And then this is oh, School Life by Simple Stories. So actually that's, pull that out now. I want to put these wood veneer in here. So let's just do that right now while we're here. Okay, moving along. This is my paper storage. So all the ones up here are just pattern papers, uh, backgrounds. So I have these divided up into mostly color so I have wood grain separate because I love wood grain then I have white brown uh, red and pink orange greens purples so that is all my background papers and that is sitting on one of those glass shelves I have to squat down here I think and then I have another glass shelf and this is all my kind of like more patterned uh, papers so not really good for backgrounds so a bit too busy uh, but they're, they're there. I don't have too many loose papers. Most of my stuff is in kits. And then all these packets are Kaiser Craft paper kits. So I have quite a lot of those, as you can see. Um, but I just keep them in their packets so I can keep them all together. I have a pretty good idea of what's in these. So I can just um, kind of keep that in the back of my memory. And then down here is just a magazine folder turned on its side. And this is all my A4 cardstock. So all my plain um, and then holographic and glitter A4 cardstock. Moving over next door, there's another glass shelf. This is where I keep all my current Cocoa Vanilla Studio uh, kits and I just keep them in their pizza boxes because I am on the design team and it's right next to my desk, this cube, so I can grab these easily. Uh, I use these the most out of everything, so it's good to have them on hand. And then once I'm not, once I'm not a current kit, then I put them um, down into my other storage. But I just keep them in their pizza boxes while they're a full kit because I have a lot. So um, it's hard to put it into a kit-sized um, page protector until I've used it up a bit. So that is Daydream, and I have Sunkissed out already on. Um, you saw earlier. That's what I was using. Um, and oh, this is where I put. Those layouts that get all wrinkled up with mixed media. So this has had some mixed media on it and it was super, super um, warped. So I just stick it under here 
and then when this second box goes on top it kind of compresses everything and it really flattens everything else out nicely so these are all my thickers this is pretty much all the non thickers brand uh, thickers and alphas and then this is all my thickers brands ones that aren't in kits again and all my Kaiser Craft sticker alphas because I use those a lot and then my messy mat and these are just hair tool boxes <laughs> Um, I was a hairstylist and makeup artist for a long time and I have a lot of these boxes and I really like them so yeah they do the job. Alright down we go. <laughs> so here I have a watercolour paper pad. Then these are all my Cocoa Vanilla Studio collections that are not new so uh, I think this is Boys Rule. Then Happiness, oh, someone More Than Words, Unforgettable. Bohemian Dream, this is Boys Rule, and that's Legendary. So what is this one at the back? Not Boys Rule? No, that's Midnight. There you go. And then we're getting into albums. So these are just my yearly albums. Um, they had tags, but I think my daughter may have stolen those ones. Violet's Baby Album, again yearly, yearly, yearly. And actually this is my son's baby album. So yeah, she definitely stole the tag out of that one. And then down the side here, I didn't have quite enough space for another album, so I have just a paper pad. The glue has stuck. There we go. And then a big pad of cardstock. Next cube over, we have a bunch of chipboard sheets. Then this is just all plain colored cardstock. Then this is all just patterned paper pads. What is that? Oh, that's my Vicky Booten pad. Okay, so that's what that is. <laughs> uh, foam all my foam sheets and then there's vellums in the back so that's that's pretty much all vellum and the rest is foam and then over here is some more Coco Vanilla Studio so these are full collections Daydream, Sunkist, Unforgettable and Legendary so they are untouched they are complete collections that I don't want to <laughs> don't want to use because I want to hold them um, but really just because I'm on the design team if I run out of my ones that I'm using I will pull in a new unused one so I just like to have backups it's my favorite favorite designer <laughs> yeah it's definitely what I have the most of then down here these are pretty much all empty albums so this one is it's got one page in it um I am currently working on that that is my cans album that I'm using Coco Vanilla um, Sunkist for. So I'm working on that, but these three are empty. I got them on clearance, so I'm just keeping them there. Um, all A4 albums. This basket is junk. It's literally just a bunch of junk. So um, a big ball of twine, a couple of empty albums, an old planner, some kids, <laughs> kids things my kids made me for Mother's Day um, some years and I did not want to throw out. Some planner dashboards, a pencil case, some rubbish bin bags. <laughs> Um, an old tripod, phone tripod, felt off cuts, like it's a shopping bag, just totally random, but um, all stuff I don't want to get rid of yet, so I just kind of chuck it in that basket and pretend I can't see it. <laughs> and then down here is a box of, again, uh, washi, I'm pretty sure, uh, and memorabilia, so stuff my kids have made me cards and things like that and then this is my big shot this is big shot obviously um my plates are on the side there and that is a another sensey thing it's like a flower thing flower diffuser thing and then back there i just have some uh like stamp sets that i don't really use i should probably get rid of and okay so that is my calyx unit then right next door, you may have seen this little um, caddy. This was from Kmart. It was really inexpensive. It's like a three-tiered bathroom caddy. But I bought it because I thought it would fit in this space really nicely. Which it does, but it doesn't fit down the bottom where the skating board is, uh, which is kind of frustrating. So I have it balanced up on a plastic Tupperware container <laughs> because um, I don't want it to, like, chip I could have it sit, sat down on the skating board, but it will ruin the paint. And yeah, I just don't, I don't want to damage my skating board. So I just have the bottom shelf balance up on that Tupperware container. <laughs> and that, yeah, it works. It does the job. It's extra storage, whatever. It's working. Um, that bright yellow thing you can see is my quilters ruler. And then I have my three little tiers. 
Now this is not the best kind of storage solution because it's really quite hard to get into those little containers. So I don't have a lot in there at the moment. The bottom one is empty. That is just kind of decor pieces that I would like to use eventually, but I don't want to use at the moment. They're just kind of sitting there. I don't really have a spot for them. Um, we are renovating, so the house is a bit of a mess. And then on here I have my sewing supplies. So this really needs replacing. It's really broken, but um, I love the little drawers. It's got all my bits and pieces, so tape measure and whatnot. Um, buttons, thread, and then the bottom drawer has more thread and like my extra foot, things like that. Then on here I have my apron and all my embroidery threads. So that, that thing is full of embroidery threads. It's doing the job. It's a bit of extra storage. I, I'm happy with it at the moment. I'll probably honestly not do anything. <laughs> I'll probably just leave it like that. Okay, and then we move into the closet. Um, I have only a very small portion of this closet. The rest is my husband's. So I just have up the top here, which is pretty messy. I'm just going to give you a really brief overview of what's in here because I don't want to pull anything down. So I have some paintbrushes and a canvas serum. Yeah, kind of working on printer ink. <laughs> um, some empty tubs. So there's nothing in those plastic tubs. My husband bought them for me. I'm um, thinking I would use them and I will, but I don't have anything to put in them at the moment. Then I have a, another basket. I don't think there's anything in that. I think it's empty. This green thing is card making stuff, which clearly I don't do much card making. And then this tub has just kind of random supplies in it that I just, I keep going through it and trying to declutter it and just not throwing out anything. So it never gets touched, but also I apparently can't throw it out. <laughs> Next, over this side, up the top there is my in progress. Um, uh, not my in progress, they're all completed layouts, but the, um, I put them in here for my layout shares. So you will have seen that if you've seen my layout shares. So it's just a 12 by 12 plastic storage box. The tub below it is from Kmart. Actually, that, that's from Kmart too. This is from Kmart, it has a lid. This is all my layouts that don't have albums. So they're just in there loose, it's getting yeah, pretty full. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do when that's full. Yeah. <laughs> Reevaluate my life decisions, probably. Um, this tub is, what is this packet? This is Coco Vanilla Studio Mary and Bright. It's not with the other stuff because it's a Christmas collection. And this box is the rest of my Christmas stuff. So they go together. And that is everything. So that is my finished craft room tour. Um, I think I have done pretty well organizing what I have in this somewhat limited space. Hopefully one day I will have my own room, but at the moment this is what I'm working with and it works pretty well for me. So I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.